my children. Uh, suicide was never one of those. Uh, and it, it hit me in a way that uh, there had to be a bigger plan for this and something good had to come from it. I couldn't spend the rest of my life just sitting back and, and, and doing nothing especially when people began to come forward and tell me what a problem that suicide was. And I was in disbelief because I consider myself a pretty well-educated, well-rounded individual. I'm in, you know, all over the place in different communities, different uh, walks of life, and I had no idea that suicide was a problem, no earthly idea. And so I was angry in the beginning. And then as I began to develop uh, some research and, and People started throwing statistics my way, I decided that I could either let the anger ruin me or I could take it and make it productive and do something about it and try to uh, change the future. And the stigma on suicide is so thick that there's people that will not discuss it. Uh, they claim that one out of, uh, two out of every three suicides are unreported, okay? Um, that would leave one of three. I think Shelby had told you that there was uh, 399, 399 deaths reported in, of suicide in Arkansas last year. If the one in three is accurate, that means that there was almost 1,200 deaths in Arkansas. That's what, 40 a month, 35 a month? And when, when I began to hear these facts and I began to do the research, I knew something had to be done. And so you start a foundation. Tell us a little bit about that. Actually, a friend of ours, uh, a very close friend of Alex's, uh, uh, Connie Hill in Northeast Arkansas, and her daughter Lauren started the Alex Blackwood Foundation. And of course, we're grateful for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and and they came to us and asked for permission, and uh, they wanted the legacy to continue. Uh, Alex was quite an icon uh, throughout the country. And they wanted his legacy to continue, and they wanted to change, change the uh, yeah the stigma, or you know, to save lives, you know, with me. And they they operated the foundation, and they're very active in it. Continues to be very active in it, but they operated the foundation for months before uh, my family was in any position to even think about getting involved or, or try to be a part. Uh, we did show up at the functions, but that was about all. So one of the things that the foundation has done is given money to the Arkansas Crisis Center to start this online emotional support system. Tell me a little bit about that and why this is so critical. Well, it's critical because there's people dying every day in Arkansas, unnecessarily. Okay, um, I was not aware that the Arkansas Crisis Center existed. And, uh, of course, they're in northwest Arkansas. I'm from central Arkansas. And... Uh, I'd never even heard of them until I ran into Shelby Chandler at a, uh, a meeting at the Department of Education. And when, you know, when she started uh, explaining what the crisis center was doing and what they were available to do, I asked her, I said, what does it take to take you and your services at the Arkansas Crisis Center statewide, border to border? And uh, she said, well, maybe additional offices, more people, more training, and as we begin to talk, I, I do a lot of speaking on awareness. My, the, the, the purpose of the Alex Blackwood Foundation is to break the silence and overcome the stigma and deal with this problem head on. Okay, Families who, who uh, are, are survivors, it's very difficult for them to speak out and, and discuss, at least in the beginning, and oftentimes they're embarrassed, okay? Uh, and there is no reason for them to be embarrassed. I am not embarrassed about my son. He was an incredible young man. There's people all over the country that support the foundation, and they have great things.